What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing and another Tackle Tip Tuesday. Today, rod arsenal. We're going over mid-size boot tail swim bait combo. Not real sure what we're going to call that just yet. Uh, stuff like the Zaldangera swim bait and the mag draft. And then we're also going to go over our lipless combo or a vibrating crank bait. They got all kinds of names for them. Roll that intro. Let's check them out. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I absolutely love throwing these mid-size swim baits. So when I'm just gonna go and show you what I'm actually talking about. This is what I refer to as a mid-size swim bait. This is a seven inch Zaldangerous swim bait from Bass Mafia. And I absolutely love throwing these about early March all the way through like June. I love throwing these up shallow. So I know a lot of people don't really do that. They're these, they feel like these are more deep baits, but uh, I absolutely love throwing this. So like I said, this is the Zaldangerous swim bait. This is a half ounce. They call it a chicken head. I don't know why, uh, but I'm throwing that for now because I don't have the new Eclipse heads that we're designing just yet, hint, hint. So uh, that's what we're throwing right now. Big beefy hook in there and of course the boot tail. So let's get to the combo. I know you already see the purple, so you know what it is. It's the Lose Pro TI. The Pro TI is my baby, but you notice anything different about this one? This is the Gen 2. Not something that you all get to see very often at all. Actually, now that I think about it, I have only ever made, no, just kidding. You've never seen me fish this rod and reel together with this bait. This was my backup jig reel for a little while. And then I switched it over to my swim bait rod and I did not film that tournament that I fished this with. So there we go. First time for y'all seeing this on camera. This is the Gen 2 Pro TI, 75 to 1 gear ratio, 20 pounds of drag. It's got the line indicator. It's got the quick, uh, the, the quick hook keeper up there and the brand new Win Pro Weave JDM inspired grips here. You guys know I like those a lot. I know some people don't. I do. I really enjoy them. And we went to the new brake plate on the side. The Pro TI, Elite TI, and Hyper Mag all have the new plate over here on the side. I believe last video I misspoke and said only the Elite had that, but only the Elite had that when it came out. Now all three of them have it. So that's pretty much it for the real guys. It's nothing special, you know, or I mean, it's very special, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. You know what it is, seven, five to one, 20 pounds of drag. Y'all know what it is. Line, this is 17 pound Strike King Tour Grade. That's just, I, I don't usually go higher than 17. It's rare that I go to 20 and 25. I do have 20 and 25. It's rare that I do it though. 17 is kind of my bread and butter. So let's move to the Pro TI rod. Oh, love these rods. Wind grips down here. It's got that fatter grip. You know it's got that. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Looks good, feels good on my arm. Leverage, plenty of leverage, just how I like it. It's got the rounded plastic um, seat up here. I can't remember what these, the lock, sorry. The real lock up here. Plastic, rounded off, doesn't hurt your finger. Constant contact with the blank here. Love that part. Uh, the rod itself, this is a seven foot, four inch, heavy, Fast. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a flipping stick. Yes, you could flip with it very easily. I personally have never flipped with it. As soon as I saw it, I said, ooh, that's a paddle tail swim bait rod. I just like it for that. Now, when summer rolls around, and if I need to go to a magnum shaky head, like a one ounce shaky head down 30 feet of water, I use this as well, just because I'm multi-purpose stuff. But swim bait rod here, this is the LFS XS titanium nanotechnology rods. You guys know some of the high tech stuff from Lou's. I love this rod all around, beefy, powerful, you can't complain with it. I absolutely love this combo. All right, so let's move on to the lipless combo. I know this was a very odd two baits to put together, but I'm using them both right now. So I figure, eh, why not? Let's put them together. And I haven't done either of them yet. So 
our lipless combo. Let's look at the bait first. Of course, you know we're gonna go with the striking red eye shad. And this is, uh, no, this is not the tongue. I was gonna say it's a tungsten two tap, but it is not. You can hear the BBs in there. Usually I only use the tungsten two tap, but I was incorrect on this one. This is the regular red eye shad. So line, this is 14 pound, is it 14 or 12? This might actually be 12, sorry. 12 pound Strike King Contra is what I use for this uh, lipless crankbait. So let's look at the rod and the reel. You guys will notice you probably don't uh, recognize this rod much anymore because I don't fish it anymore because I have all of the brand new Gen 2 custom lights. This is a Gen 1 custom light, but I still love this rod. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, so I held on to it and I'm gonna keep fishing it. So this is a seven foot medium fast action rod. Uh, I know a lot of people and even myself usually harp treble hooks, you need a moderate mod fast. But for whatever reason, this rod works really well with the treble hooks on the lipless bait. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the limberness of it and it, it just works. So I'm able to bomb cast that thing out there. The rod's got a lot of limberness to it. I can really make long casts. Uh, with this thing, I say I'm probably throwing it every bit of 60 yards. I can get a really long cast on there. Long cast, you know, your bait's, uh, bait's down there to be able to get bit more often the longer the cast that you make. So let's look at the reel. This is a custom light reel. This is one of the original custom lights. It's got 20 pounds of drag in it, of course. Everybody knows that. They, most all of our high-end lose reels come with 20 pounds of drag. It has the line indicator over here on the side, so you're able to tell it what line you're actually using. I don't think I set this one, though. I didn't. I haven't actually set that one yet, but it's for quick identification so that you know what line is on the reel in case you have, you know, if you've got 20 or 30 of these, you got to be able to know real quick what line is on there. Um, let's see here, this is a 7.5, yep, 7.5 to one gear ratio reel. That allows me to be able to make that bomb cast out there. And a lot of the time, I mean, I will chuck and wind it sometimes, but a lot of the time I'm actually yo-yoing this. Uh, it's just the, the, the technique that I like to use with a lipless bait. I feel as though I get bit more often yo-yoing it. Because we don't have grass here, I'm not able to throw it up into eel grass and stuff and rip it out of there. Uh, so I have to kind of make the imitation myself when I'm fishing around rock with it. So I'll bomb it out through these rock ledges or rock bluffs and I'll rip it up through the rock and it gives the same appearance as ripping it out of the grass. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit different of a style, different way of doing it. Uh, and it just makes life a whole heck of a lot easier when you've got a long, long cast and you're able to work that really well. 20 pounds of drag, seven five to one gear ratio. Uh, it does have EVA foam grips on here. These are uh, yet again, kind of in between of the teardrop wind grips, the paddle grips, you know, th there's, there's four or five different styles of grips that we have. And the EVA foam are definitely up there with one of my favorites, uh, but you guys know I love wind grips. It's just what I've always liked. Uh, but these are very comfortable too. It's got the carbon fiber uh, handle here. Uh, very nice drag star. Like I said, the drag is very, very smooth. We've got the wind grips down here on the handle and on the butt. And if you'll notice, this does not have a hook keeper on it. Uh, that was one of the things that I'm glad they added to the Gen 2 custom lights was a hook keeper, but that's why you try to get the reels with the hook keeper built in, which this one does not have. So that's why it's sitting on the face of my reel, which I absolutely hate. Uh, I can't stand doing that, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So the seat lock or the reel lock up here is rounded off as well. So when I've got my finger there holding on to it, it is not rubbing a blister on my finger. We've got the direct contact blank right here as well. So I'm able to feel everything. And this rod allows you to feel that vibrating uh, crankbait so well. That lipless just, you feel everything just shh. That, that's my impersonation of a lipless shh. You feel it when you're ripping it up through there. 
it, it just pulsates so well through the rod and you know when you get bit because you can feel it. Uh, and that's what you want in a good quality lipless rod. You wanna be able to feel that bite. All right, guys, there they are. Our lipless combo and our paddle, I don't know what we're calling this, mid-size paddle tail swim bait combo. I'm gonna have to come up with a better name for it for the title, but there they are. Those are the two combos that we went over, Pro TI and Custom Light combos. And they are just two rods that I absolutely love fishing. I think they're a lot of fun to fish. And that's what counts in fishing, guys, is having fun. I have a plane buzzing my house that just keeps going over and over and over. And I, this little microphone is the bomb and it picks up everything. I'm sure you probably just heard the dog squeaking his toy too. So I try to cut all that stuff out for you guys. But if you guys like these videos, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. I'll let you know when we post a new video. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. What are y'all using for your paddle tail swim bait and your lipless combos? Go down there, tell me all about it. Uh, share the video out for me guys. We have got some good content coming up real soon. I would tell you what's coming next, but I'm, I'm so far ahead in these videos. I don't really know where I'm gonna be next, but I know Santee Cooper's coming up, but I bet you this is gonna be posted after Santee Cooper. So either way, whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. Take care everybody.